friends, welcome. Today I'm showing you my new setup, which I'm very excited about. Also, I apologize for my voice. <laughs> Allergy season has come and the pollen is flying everywhere, so I hope it doesn't sound too bad. In my last video, I shared with you all that I feel like I'm entering a new chapter in this art journey and I'm really happy that I made this big change. If you haven't seen my last video, it's basically me wanting to paint from life and prioritizing that as much as I can before painting from a photograph. This is my pochade box and this what I'm holding up right here is actually a viewfinder and this is what helps me crop the composition into what I want it to be for my painting and so it's very helpful. Um, but it's really funny because I'm really glad I upgraded on that. I'm gonna share a clip here of one that I made myself like two years ago and it was pretty helpful but um, the one I got is definitely much better now. from life a few times before. If you've seen my videos, you probably already know that I took one oil painting class back in college and this professor only allowed us to paint from life, which was a little difficult because this was already during the pandemic. So we weren't all in a studio where we could be a little more hands-on. I kind of had to set up everything myself here at home and figure out what I can use with the material that I already had. And I think it went pretty well. I could post a picture here of my final assignment, still life, you can call it. I definitely don't think I knew how to handle the lighting, um, the shadows, maybe even the composition. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm pretty sure the background is literally the color of the box, which could have been like a really dark brown or a black to really make it dramatic, but no, I had no idea what I was doing. But yeah, those were my first few attempts at painting from life. Ever since then, I have painted a couple of flowers from life, which I think I have videos on, so I can link them down below if you're interested, but even then, I don't think that I was using correct lighting because my window is not a north-facing light, so the light was changing very quickly, and uh, the contrasts in that painting were not good at all. Um, but you know, I had to start somewhere and it wouldn't have led me here if I never started. Painting from life really is so different from photographs and I think I really felt it this time around because I feel like my setup was really good with the lighting and the contrasts of everything but I just, I don't know, it, it, it was kind of like a light bulb that went off when I painted this. The colors and the lighting, everything was just amazing and I think I'm so used to painting photographs that are probably overexposed and overly saturated that my paintings kind of came out that way. I did feel at some point that they didn't represent nature as how I see it and I think painting this teacup and this rose really felt like I was. Doing this still life made me feel like I was doing something right. I felt like I was truly connecting to nature and I don't know, that can sound very dramatic to somebody, but there is a connection and a process that goes through my mind when I paint and 
I guess what I'm saying is I never felt it so strong as I did um, this time with this painting so it just made me feel like I was definitely going in the right path and yeah I just cannot wait to paint some more. If you've seen my other videos, I talk about how painting teacups or anything circular, so even this plate, is my weakness. I'm not so good at capturing the shape. But for some reason, this teacup came out so good and I don't know if it was because I was in the flow of everything or what it was, but I didn't find myself fighting with the teacup as much as I usually do. I guess painting from life just does some magic but I just felt amazing with this painting and I loved how the colors turned out how the lighting came out in this painting I definitely don't think I would have been able to achieve that if I took a photo and the funny part is that I actually tried to take a photograph of my still life to post it on my patreon page for my patreons and the photograph was just not capturing the the vibe it wasn't capturing the the mood that was coming off of the still life i think in that moment i really realized that painting from life and painting from photographs are two separate worlds i'm definitely not against painting from photographs because i definitely think that i still will but i will probably do my best to edit them down <laughs> as much as I could to represent the colors and the lightings of real life. If you've never painted from life before, I highly encourage you to do so. Don't worry too much about the setup, just do what you can with anything that you already have. If you already do paint from life, let me know down in the comments what your experience is like and if you feel a difference between painting from life versus a photograph. I clearly get very excited talking about this, so I would love to talk to you guys down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. I'll see you here very soon.